Welcome, dear listeners, to the shrouded mists of history and horror that enwrap Leap Castle, Ireland's most haunted fortress. Nestled in the heart of Cool Derry, County Offaly, this ancient stronghold whispers tales of dread and darkness, its stones steeped in blood and betrayal. For centuries, it has stood as a silent witness to battles fierce and familial treacheries deep, its halls echoing with the footsteps of the departed. Tonight, we peel back the layers of time to uncover the secrets that lie buried within its walls. From the shadowy depths of its hidden dungeons to the spectral figures that roam its chambers at night, we invite you to join us on a journey into the unknown. Brace yourselves, for we are about to step into a realm where the boundaries between the living and the dead blur and where every creak and whisper tells a story of a past that refuses to be forgotten. This is the tale of Leap Castle, a place where history haunts and legends live. Prepare to be immersed in an atmosphere of fear, apprehension, and ambiguity. Listener discretion is advised, for the story we are about to tell is not for the faint of heart. In the shadowy realms of Ireland's storied past, where the veil between this world and the next grows thin, there lies all and steeped in legends and soaked in blood. It is here, amidst the rolling green hills of County Offaly, that the saga of Leap Castle begins, a tale as dark and twisted as the winding staircases within its ancient walls. Our story unfolds with the O'Bannon clan, fierce warriors, and loyal vassals to the formidable O'Carroll family. The O'Bannons, known for their bravery and martial prowess, played a pivotal role in the early history of Leek Castle, constructing the fortress under the direction of the O'Carrolls who ruled the land with an iron fist. But do not be fooled by the seeming simplicity of this alliance, for the bonds of loyalty and duty were often overshadowed by the lust for power and dominance. The castle, a symbol of strength and authority, became a coveted prize, a jewel in the crown of the O'Carroll chieftains. It stood as a testament to their might, but within its walls lurked a darkness, a harbinger of the doom that would befall all who dared to claim it. The O'Bannons, though secondary in rank, were instrumental in a castle's construction, their sweat and blood mingling with the earth upon which it stood. Yet, as the stone walls rose, so too did tensions, whispers of betrayal and purses muttered in the shadows. It was said that the ground on which the castle was built was cost, tainted by ancient rituals and blood sacrifices, the spirits of the end disturbed by the clamor of battle and the screams of the fallen. In this atmosphere of fear and apprehension, the O'Bannons found themselves caught in a web of power struggles and supernatural forces beyond their understanding. The castle, once a symbol of their strength, became a haunting reminder of their vulnerability. 
a place where the echoes of the past were never silent. As night falls over Leap Castle, the line between history and horror blurs. The spirits of the Obenon clan, restless and bound to the fortress they helped build, roam its halls, a spectral testament to their legacy. The air is thick with the scent of ancient secrets, and every shadow seems to move, as if alive. Listen us, as we delve deeper into the tale of Leap Castle. Remember, ah, this is a place where legends are born, and the dead do not rest easy. The story of the Obanans and their role in the castle's early history is but the first chapter in a song of intrigue, betrayal, and supernatural horror. Stay with us, if you dare, as we uncover the mysteries that lie within the walls of Ireland's most haunted castle. In the heart of Ireland, where the mists of time obscure the lines between the seen and the unseen, the tale of Leap Castle takes a dark turn. As we venture further into its storied past, we come upon a chapter cloaked in shadows and whispered fears, a chapter where the very stones of the castle itself were imbued with ancient purses and bloodshed. Constructed in the late 13th century, Leap Castle was born from conflict and strife. The land upon which it stands, which in history, and soaked with the blood of countless battles, was chosen not just for its strategic advantage, but also for its deep spiritual significance. It was here, amidst the ancient Druidic sites that the O'Carroll plan decided to erect a fortress that would stand as a testament to their power and might. But the castle's inception was anything but peaceful. The land was rife with tension, a place where rival plans waged relentless wars for dominance. Each stone laid in a castle's foundation was a declaration of power a challenge to any who dared oppose the O'Carroll clan. Yet, with each layer of stone, a deeper, more sinister foundation was being laid, a foundation of curses and dark omens. Legend has it that the castle's construction was marked by omens of ill fortune. It was said that the ground itself resisted the intrusion with unexplained phenomena plaguing the builders. Tools would disappear, only to be found in impossible locations. Mysterious shadows flitted through the trees at the edge of the construction site, watching, waiting, and at night. The chilling sound of disembodied voices would echo across the valley as if the ancient spirits of the land were voicing their descent. The bloodiest chapter in a castle's construction came to pass when the O'Carrolls, desperate to assert their dominance, committed a heinous act. In a brutal display of power, they turned on their own allies, the O'Bennons, slaughtering them within the unfinished walls of the castle. This act of treachery and bloodshed would forever stain the stones of Leap Castle, imbuing them with a curse that whispered of betrayal and death. As the years passed, the castle grew in both stature and infamy. 
The very air within its halls seemed to throb with an unseen menace, a palpable sense of dread that could not be escaped. It was as if the violence of its inception had seeped into the very modder, binding the stones with an eternal echo of anguish and despair. The people whispered of the castle's curse, a curse that brought death and misfortune to those who dwelled within its walls. It was said that the spirits of those slain in its construction roamed the corridors at night. Their ghostly presence is a reminder of the castle's bloody beginnings. And amid the tales of hauntings and spectral sightings, one thing became clear. Leap Castle was a place where the past was alive, where the line between the living and the dead was as thin as the veil of mist that shrouded the landscape. Listen as, as we close this chapter on the construction of Leap Castle and the dark omens that marked its birth. Remember, ah, uh, this is a place where history bleeds into legend, where every stone and shadow has a story to tell, a place where the echoes of the past whisper to us from the darkness, inviting us to delve deeper into the mystery that is Leap Castle. Within the darkened heart of Ireland, where shadows dance with the faint light of the moon, the song of Leap Castle takes a sinister turn. Our tale now weaves through the corridors of power, ambition, and betrayal that defined the reign of the O'Carroll family. This chapter, dear listeners, delves into the depths of human pravity revealing the lengths to which men will go for dominion over others. The O'Carrolls, a name synonymous with both fear and respect, rose to power amidst the turbulent tides of medieval Ireland. Their ascent was marked not by the benevolence of their rule, but by their coming and ruthlessness. The castle, their seat of power became the heart from which they controlled their lands, a heart that beat with the dark blood of treachery. As the family's influence grew, so too did their insatiable thirst for control. The O'Carrolls were masters of manipulation, employing divide-and-conquer strategies to pit rival clans against each other thus ensuring that no unified threat could oppose them. They fuged alliances when convenient, only to break them when they no longer served their purposes. And within the walls of Leak Castle, the same ruthless tactics were applied to their own kin. The dynasty was mawed by a succession of leaders whose reigns were characterized by violent power struggles. Brothers turned against brothers, sons against fathers, in a bloody cycle of betrayal that seemed to be woven into the very fabric of their lineage. The castle bore silent witness to these internal conflicts, its halls echoing with the sound of steel and the cries of the betrayed. One of the most chilling tales of this era involves the brutal murder of a priest by his own brother in what would come to be known as the Bloody Chapel. During a mass, in a moment of unholy fury, the murderous O'Carroll plunged his blade into the priest, 
spilling his blood over the sacred stones. This act of fratricide was a stark manifestation of a curse that seemed to afflict the family, a curse that some whispered was the result of their dealings with dark forces. The O'Carroll's rule was also marked by their dealings with the supernatural. They were rumored to have engaged in dark rituals, seeking the favor of ancient entities to secure their hold on power. The passel, with its hidden passages and darkened rooms, was said to be a nexus of these arcane practices, where the veil between worlds was thin and spirits could be contacted. As the years passed, the family's legacy became as much about the ghosts and spirits that haunted the passel as about the actual historical events, the violent deaths, the betrayals, and the dark rituals seemed to imbue the very stones of Leap Castle with a malevolent energy. Visitors spoke of feeling watched, of cold spots and disembodied whispers, as if the pestle itself was alive with the spirits of those wronged by the O'Carrolls. In this chapter of our tale, we are reminded of the darkness that can dwell in the hearts of men, a darkness that can turn brother against brother and stain the halls of power with blood. The story of the O'Carroll family's rise to power, their ruthless tactics, and the curses that seemed to follow them, adds a somber note to the haunted melody that plays through the history of Leap Castle. So, dear listeners, as we leave behind the treacherous plots and spectral whispers of the O'Carrolls, let us ponder the price of power and the legacies we leave behind. For in the shadows of Leap Castle, history and horror are entwined, a reminder that sometimes the true monsters reside not in the darkness, but within us. In the realm of shadows and whispers, where the past lingers like a persistent fog, the story of Leap Castle takes us deeper into its heart of darkness. This chapter, cloaked in the somber hues of betrayal and sacrilege, unfolds within the confines of a sacred space turned sinister. We turn our gaze to the infamous Bloody Chapel, a place where faith was shattered by fratricide, forever altering the castle's haunted legacy. The chapel, originally intended as a place of worship and solace within the castle's formidable stone embrace, became the stage for one of the most harrowing tales in Leap Castle's storied past. It was here, beneath the arched windows that once streamed with the gentle light of dawn, that an act of unparalleled brutality was committed, an act that would stain the chapel's walls with the blood of innocence betrayed. The O'Carroll family, embroiled in their endless quests for power, were no strangers to internal strife. But even by their standards, the murder of a priest, a man of the cloth, during Mass, was a shock that reverberated through the very foundations of the passel. The priest, serving not only as a spiritual guide, but also as a beacon of peace, 
in turbulent times, was none other than a brother of the assailant, an O'Carroll chieftain whose soul had been darkened by jealousy and rage. As the congregation prayed, the chieftain stepped into the chapel, his heart hardened by malice. In a moment of unholy fury, he raised his blade and struck down his brother at the altar. The priest's blood, a sacrilege upon the sacred stones, marked the beginning of the chapel's infamy. The act was a desecration of all that was holy, a sin so grave that it echoed through the annals of the castle's history, a spectral reminder of the darkness that dwelled within its walls. The bloody chapel, as it came to be known, soon became the epicenter of the castle's hauntings. It was said that on certain nights, when the veil between the worlds grew thin, the anguished cries of the murdered priest could be heard echoing through the empty chapel, a lament for his betrayed trust and shattered faith. Shadows moved with purpose in the darkness, and an oppressive air of sadness filled the room, as if the very stones mourned the atrocity committed within their embrace. Visitors to the chapel spoke of feeling an overwhelming sense of dread, a palpable feeling of being watched by unseen eyes filled with sorrow and anger. Some claimed to have seen the ghostly figure of the priest, his ethereal form appearing at the altar, his hands raised as if in eternal prayer, or perhaps in a plea for justice from beyond the grave. The tale of the bloody chapel is not merely a story of murder. It is a testament to the castle's caste legacy, a reminder of the thin line between sanctity and sacrilege. The chapel stands as a monument to the darkness that can consume the human heart, a darkness so profound that it echoes through the centuries a whispering ghost of the past. As we close this chapter on the bloody chapel, let us reflect on the shadows that history casts, on the stories that linger in places marked by tragedy and loss. Leap Castle, with its haunted halls and whispered curses, holds within its stones the tales of those who have gone before. Their voice is a solemn choir in the symphony of the supernatural that plays within its walls. As we delve deeper into the heart of darkness that beats within Leap Castle, our journey uncovers a chapter so chilling, it whispers of unspeakable horrors hidden beneath the surface of history. In this tale of shadows and despair, we turn our gaze towards the abyss, towards a discovery that laid bare the castle's most gruesome secrets. Thubliet, Thubliet, a word derived from the French Hublier, meaning to forget, was designed as a place of forgetting, a hidden dungeon where the unwanted and the condemned were thrown to meet their fate, forgotten by the world above. This pit of despair, concealed within the bowels of Leak Castle, was a silent witness to the darkest aspects of human cruelty. It was not until modern times, during a period of restoration and exploration, 
that the true horror of Ubiet was revealed. Hidden behind a wall in a pestle, the entrance to this dungeon was discovered, unearthing a tale of anguish that had been lost to time. Those who first gazed into its depths were met with a sight that would haunt them for the rest of their days. The skeletal remains of countless individuals piled atop one another, a macabre testament to the castle's grim past. These were not the remains of honored warriors or noble lords, but of prisoners many of whom had been thrown alive into the pit, their bodies left to decay in the darkness. The Ubliet was designed so that once within its confines, escape was impossible. The only exit was a small opening at the top, through which the victims were passed, their cries fading into the silence as they fell. The discovery of human skeletons within Dupliet sent shock waves through the local community and beyond, reinforcing Leap Castle's reputation as a place of suffering and death. Among the bombs, artifacts were found wristed shackles and fragments of clothing, mute witnesses to the lives that had been extinguished in this pit of despair. The presence of Ubliet also shed light on the lengths to which the Pastle's inhabitants went to maintain their power and control. It was a tool of terror, a means to dispose of rivals, dissenters, and any who dared to challenge the ruling family's authority. Ubliet was a symbol of the absolute power wielded by the Castle's lords a power that knew no bounds of cruelty or inhumanity. Today, the Ubliet stands as a trilling reminder of the past, a dark spot in the tapestry of Leap Castle's history. Visitors to the castle are drawn to this site, not only out of a morbid curiosity, but also as a means to pay respects to those who suffered within its depths. The air around Ubliet feels heavy with the weight of unspoken stories, of lives cut short and souls left to wander in the shadows. As we conclude this chapter on the Ubliet, let us remember that the walls of Leap Castle hold within them stories of both terror and tragedy. The discovery of this hidden dungeon serves as a grim reminder of the lengths to which humanity can go in its quest for power and control. In the silent darkness of Ubliet, the past speaks to us, a solemn reminder of the forgotten lives that once echoed in its depths. As we wander further into the labyrinth of Leap Castle's haunted history, we stumble upon a chapter that is as enigmatic as it is terrifying. Here, amidst the echoes of past horrors, we encounter a legend that has persisted through the ages, a tale of an ancient and malevolent presence known as the Elemental. This entity, shrouded in mystery and terror, is said to dwell within the darkest corners of the castle, a specter that defies explanation and eludes understanding. The origins of the elemental are lost to time, buried under layers of folklore and fear. 
Some say it was conjured by dark rituals performed by the Druids who once inhabited the land. A guardian spirit turned malevolent. Others whisper of a curse cast upon a passel by a powerful sorcerer wronged by the O'Carroll clan, condemning the fortress to be forever haunted by this entity. Regardless of its origins, the elemental has become a part of Leap Castle's lore, a chilling specter that embodies the castle's history of bloodshed and betrayal. Descriptions of the elemental vary, but all accounts agree on its unsettling presence. Witnesses speak of a figure, not quite human, cloaked in a shadowy mist. Its appearance is often preceded by a sudden drop in temperature and a foul stench likened to the smell of decaying flesh and sulfur. Those unfortunate enough to encounter the elemental describe an overwhelming sense of dread, a primal fear that grips the heart and chills the soul. The elemental is said to roam the castle, its presence felt strongest in the places where the veil between worlds is thinnest. The bloody chapel, with its history of sacrilege and murder, is a frequent haunt of this entity. It is here, in the dead of night, that the spectral figure is often seen, its form shifting and twisting in the darkness a silent witness to the chapel's bloody past. But what is the elemental? Is it a spirit bound to the castle by ancient magic? Or is it something older, a primordial entity that predates the castle itself? Some believe it to be a protector of the land corrupted by the violence and cruelty that have stained the castle's history. Others see it as a harbinger of doom, a reminder of the dark forces that can be unleashed by human greed and malice. The true nature of the elemental remains a mystery, its story woven into the fabric of Leap Castle's haunted legacy. Its presence serves as a chilling reminder of the unseen forces that may lurk in the shadows, waiting, watching. The elemental is not just a tale of horror. It is a manifestation of the castle's dark history, a specter born from centuries of bloodshed and sorrow. As we close this chapter on the elemental, let us ponder the mysteries that remain hidden within the walls of Leap Castle. The tales of this ancient entity invite us to question the nature of the unseen, to confront our fears of the unknown. In the silence of the castle's darkened halls, the elemental whispers to us, a voice from the past that refuses to be silenced a shadow that dances on the edge of our nightmares. in the penumbral realm of Leap Castle, where history bleeds into the spectral. We tread softly into a chapter thick with the whispers and sightings, a chapter where the ethereal inhabitants are as much a part of the castle as the ancient stones themselves. This is a realm of ghosts and phantoms, where the veil between the living and the dead is worn thin by tragedy and time. Here, 
Eyewitness accounts paint a haunting tableau of the spirits that roam the castle's halls, each with their own story, their own eternal sorrow. Among the most vivid and chilling of these apparitions is the figure known as the Red Lady. Witnesses describe her as a towering presence, cloaked in a red gown that seems to shimmer with an otherworldly glow. In her hands, she clutches a dagger, its blade gleaming in the moonlight that filters through the castle's windows. The Red Lady is not a silent specter. Her footsteps echo through the halls, and some have even heard the soft, mournful weeping that seems to follow her wherever she goes. Her origins are shrouded in mystery, with some speculating that she was a victim of the castle's violent past, perhaps murdered in a fit of jealousy or betrayal. Her presence is a poignant reminder of the anguish that has seeped into the very fabric of Leap Castle. But the Red Lady is not alone in her spectral wanderings. The castle is also home to the spirits of two young girls, known to appear in the main hall and its adjoining corridors. These playful phantoms, often seen holding hands, or chasing one another, evoke a sense of innocent merriment that stands in stark contrast to the pestle's otherwise somber atmosphere. Visitors have reported hearing the unmistakable sound of laughter, the light patter of small feet trunning across stone floors. Let, there is an undercurrent of sadness to their play, a reminder that their youthful exuberance was cut short by tragedy. Some believe they were the otters of a former pestle inhabitant, their lives claimed by some forgotten calamity. The castle's spectral residents are not confined to these well-known figures. Many have spoken of encountering shadowy forms that slip quietly through the rooms of hearing whispers in the dead of night that seem to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. Each ghostly encounter adds another layer to the castle's haunted tapestry, weaving a complex narrative of loss, betrayal, and unending sorrow. These eyewitness accounts offer us a glimpse into the unseen world that exists alongside our own. A world where the past is not past, but painfully present. The Spirits of Leap Castle From the sorrowful Red Lady with her dagger, to the laughter of ghostly children, serve as a reminder of the thin veil that separates life from death, the tangible from the ethereal. As we conclude this chapter, let us ponder the stories left untold, the voices that whisper from the shadows. Leap Castle is a place where history haunts the living, where every stone and shadow has its own tale of woe. In the silence of its halls, the castle's ghostly inhabitants remind us that they, too, were once alive, their stories forever etched into the fabric of this ancient fortress. As we venture further into the enigmatic embrace of Leap Castle, we find ourselves on its tales not just of the past, but of the present, where the line between the living 
and the dead is navigated with both trepidation and intrigue. This chapter unfolds with the personal experiences of those who have crossed the Passel's threshold in recent times. Owners, visitors, and paranormal investigators, each drawn to the Passel by a quest for understanding, or perhaps by something more intangible, an unseen force that beckons from beyond the veil. The Ryan family, custodians of the Passel in the latter part of the 20th century, have been thought right about their encounters with the castle's spectral residents. They speak of an uneasy coexistence, a daily life punctuated by unexplained phenomena, doors that close of their own accord, a whispers in the night, and sudden drops in temperature that defy logical explanation. Yet, despite these unnerving appearances, they describe a sense of guardianship, as if the spirits of Leap Castle, while protective of their domain, acknowledge the Ryan's role in preserving their eternal home. Visitors to the Passle recount experiences that range from the subtly unsettling to the profoundly disturbing. Some speak of feeling an invisible presence at their side a weight on their shoulder, or a brush against their cheek, as if the spirits wish to make their presence known. Others have heard the sounds of footsteps echoing through empty halls, or the distant sound of music, as if a ghostly celebration were taking place just out of sight. Paranormal investigators, drawn to Leap Castle by tales of its hauntings, have employed a range of techniques in an attempt to communicate with its spectral inhabitants. Using everything from simple EVP, electronic voice phenomenon, recorders, to more sophisticated ghost hunting equipment, they have captured voices that seem to belong to another time. Responding to questions, or simply making their presence known, one chilling recording captures a voice that seems to plead for help, a reminder of the tragic past that many believe still echoes through the castle's walls. Among the most compelling encounters are those involving attempts to contact the elemental. Investigators describe an overwhelming sense of dread that pervades the room when this presence is near, a feeling of being watched by something ancient and not entirely of this world. Some have reported sudden, inexplicable malfunctions of their equipment, as if the entity itself wishes to remain undiscovered, hidden in the shadows of legend and fear. These personal experiences shared by those who have walked the halls of Leap Castle, add a living narrative to the ancient stones. They serve as a bridge between the past and the present, a reminder that some stories, some presences, are too powerful to be confined to history. The Passel, with its myriad ghosts and unexplained phenomena, continues to captivate and terrify, drawing those who seek to uncover its secrets, or perhaps to encounter something that defies understanding. As we close this chapter on the personal experiences of those who have encountered the spectral residents of Leap Castle, we are reminded of the enduring allure of the unknown. The Passel, with its dark history and haunted halls, invites us to ponder the mysteries that lie just beyond the reach of the living, in the realm of shadows and whispers, where the past refuses to be silenced.
as the shadows lengthen and the whispers of leaped castles past grow ever more insistent, we arrive at a chapter that speaks of renewal, of a family's endeavor to breathe life into ancient stones. This is the story of the Ryan family, who, in the 1990s, took upon themselves the monumental task of restoring Leap Castle to its former glory, all the while navigating the delicate balance between preserving its witch history and cohabiting with the spectral residents who call the castle home. The Ryans, aware of the castle's notorious reputation, approached their new stewardship with a mixture of reverence and resolve. Their purchase of the castle was not merely a transaction. It was a commitment to safeguarding a piece of Ireland's cultural and paranormal heritage. The restoration efforts were extensive and undertaken with meticulous care to ensure that the castle's architectural integrity and historical significance were preserved. Restoring Leap Castle was no ordinary endeavor. Beyond the structural repairs and aesthetic considerations lay the unique challenge of honoring the castle's many ghosts, a task the Ryans approached with respect and sensitivity. They understood that the spirits, as much a part of the castle as the stones themselves, had stories that deserve to be acknowledged and respected. The family's experiences living with the castle's spectral inhabitants were marked by a series of encounters that ranged from the deeply unsettling to the strangely comforting. Doors would sometimes slam shut without any discernible cause, and cold drafts would sweep through rooms on still days. The sound of footsteps echoing through empty halls became a familiar, if not entirely welcome, occurrence. That, amidst these eerie encounters, there were moments of profound connection that spoke to a sense of coexistence between the living and the dead. The Ryans reported feeling a protective presence within the passel walls as if the spirits, recognizing the family's efforts to restore and preserve their home, had accepted them as part of the castle's continuing legacy. One of the most poignant aspects of the Ryan family's experience was their interaction with the spirit known as the Red Lady. On several occasions, they sensed her presence, a feeling of sadness, and longing that was almost palpable. Rather than fear, the family felt empathy for her, understanding that her restless spirit was bound to the castle by the tragedy of her past. The restoration of Leap Castle under the stewardship of the Ryan family is a testament to the power of respect and understanding in bridging the gap between the past and the present. Their efforts have not only preserved the castle's physical structure, but have also honored the memories of those who have passed through its halls, both living and deceased. As we reflect on the Ryan family's journey with Leap Castle, we are reminded of the delicate balance between preserving history and making peace with its ghosts. Their story is one of courage, of a willingness to embrace the unknown and to cohabit with the shadows of the past. In doing so, they have ensured that Leap Castle remains a place where history is alive, where the whispers of the past are heard in a rustle of the wind and a creak of ancient floorboards a place where the veil between worlds is thin, and the spirits of yesteryear waft hand in hand with the living.
As we draw the curtains on our haunting journey through the annals of Leap Castle, we arrive in the present day, where the castle stands not as a relic of the past, but as a living monument to the confluence of history, legend, and the supernatural. This final chapter explores Leap Castle's current incarnation, a place where the echoes of centuries meld with the curiosity of the modern world, making it a unique nexus of cultural and paranormal significance. Today, Leap Castle is recognized globally not only for its architectural beauty and historical importance, but also for its reputation as one of the most haunted places on earth. This duality has turned the castle into a magnet for those drawn to the mysteries of the past and the enigmas of the otherworldly. Tourists and ghost hunters alike traverse continents to stand within its storied walls each seeking their own connection to the castle's witch tapestry of tales. The castle's present-day allure is enhanced by the Ryan family's ongoing efforts to preserve its essence while opening its doors to the curious and the brave. Visitors are invited to explore the ancient halls, where the weight of history is palpable in every stone and shadow. Guided tours offer glimpses into the castle's turbulent past, from the bloody battles of clan rivalries to the whispered tales of its ghostly inhabitants. For the paranormal enthusiast, Leap Castle offers an unparalleled opportunity to delve into the unknown. Equipped with EVP recorders, infrared cameras, and an array of ghost hunting equipment. These modern day explorers seek to pierce the veil that separates the living from the spirits that linger within the castle. The quest for evidence of the supernatural is as much about connecting with the castle's history as it is about the thrill of potential encounters with the other side. Let Beyond the allure of ghostly apparitions and spectral whispers, Leap Castle embodies a deeper significance. It stands as a testament to the resilience of history, a reminder that the past, with all its shadows and light, continues to shape our understanding of the present. The castle serves as a bridge between the tangible and the ethereal inviting us to ponder the mysteries of life, death, and the legacy we leave behind. In embracing its dual role as a historical monument and a beacon for the paranormal, Leap Castle has carved out a unique place in a cultural consciousness. It challenges visitors to confront their fears, to question the boundaries of reality and to appreciate the intricate tapestry of human and supernatural history that is woven into its very fabric. As we conclude our exploration of Leap Castle, we are left with a sense of awe at the complexity of the human experience, as reflected in the stories that permeate its ancient walls. The castle, with its blend of history, horror, and mystery, remains a symbol of our enduring fascination with the unknown. It invites us to listen closely to the whispers of the past, to seek understanding in the shadows, and to marvel at the enduring power of stories to connect us across the ages. Thank you, dear listeners for joining us on this journey through the haunting legacy of Leap Castle. May the tales of its spectral residence and the echoes of its storied past linger in your minds, a reminder of the thin veil that separates our world from the mysteries.
that lie just beyond your grasp. As the final echoes of our journey through the shadowed halls of Leap Castle fade into the silence, we reach the end of this tale, a story interwoven with history, mystery, and the spectral whispers of the past. Our exploration of one of the world's most haunted castles has taken us through layers of time, unveiling the human experiences and ethereal presences that linger within its ancient stone walls. Leap Castle, with its storied past and resident spirits, stands as a testament to the enduring fascination with the unseen, the unexplained, and the unforgettable. It is a monument not only to the lives that have passed through its gates, but to the stories that have emerged from its depths, tales that bridge the gap between the past and the present, the living and the dead. As we conclude this part cast, let us carry with us the reminder that history is not just a series of events recorded in books, but a living, breathing presence that surrounds us, shapes us, and whispers to us in the quiet moments. The story of Leap Castle is a vivid tapestry of human ambition, tragedy, and the search for understanding in a world filled with shadows and light. To our listeners, thank you for embarking on this haunting journey with us. May the tales of Leap Castle inspire you to explore the mysteries that lie waiting in the shadows of our own world, to seek the stories hidden in the forgotten corners of history, and to listen for the whispers of the past that echo around us, if only we dare to listen. Until our paths cross again in the realm of the unknown, keep the flame of curiosity alight, and remember, the veil between worlds is thinner than we think. Good night, dear listeners, and may your dreams be free of shadows.